Okay, now that we have understood what is meant by a float, what is meant by a double, let's try to uh, uh, put it into action. So let's create a new project and uh, let it be Java just like that. And this time I'm going to say create project from template and say command line app. And then mm, I'm going to put it in my previous uh, location, which is in my desktop and I've called it Java projects. Let me create a new project. Uh, folder inside that I'll say you know double I'll just call it double and let this be project be inside this uh, double folder I uh, will give it a name of uh, double test right now if I just click on an and, uh, base package could be anything a package in Java is uh, nothing but a collection of classes. Right at this point, you just need to know that this base package means it's a collection of classes and you can give whatever name you wish to give it, but make sure each of them have unique names. And if I just click on finish, it is going to build me a project. And this time, obviously, it's going to show up the tip. Let me just close it off. And this time you see this line is added package com dot rakshit which means it is coming under uh, rakshit package so here if we get into the source directory so here is my package name like I said I can have as many classes as I can and by default it has created a uh, class called main and then here we have as usual public static void main string args it's pretty interesting when uh, everything is done ready for you right so that's what is done here when we just chose or get get it ready from a template now let me just delete this and let's get started uh, getting into the uh, requirements so this is more more like a test than my uh, lecture so in this video I expect uh, you to try to convert 50 US dollars to equivalent British pounds oops all right now good luck go ahead and try it out let's see what you can do Pause the video if necessary. Alright, so let's uh, get it started. The first thing that we need to do is first declare a double and say US dollars and we'll just call it 50. And notice now I need to declare in a double form okay next I need to get it equivalently converted into another double we'll call it B pounds which is equal to US dollars you see when I typed U it all showed me because that is what I was looking for times and I just looked up the internet it is uh, USD to uh, British pounds is uh, 0.81 British pounds so let me just copy this and uh, US dollars times 81 and uh, I'll call end it with a semicolon now I'll just add another D because I'm making it very clear for the compiler to make sure it interprets b pounds as a double variable now all that we need to do remaining is that we need to sys system dot print it out <coughs> system dot out dot print ln and uh, say b pounds and we'll, we'll just add a little bit of text why uh, why why am i getting it in red because b pounds it is case sensitive all right now let us add a little bit of text telling uh, 50 us dollars us dollars in 
equivalent British pounds is and then not to forget that we need to add a concatenation now as we can expect everything seems to be fine let's try to run and see what what's go, you know what the outcome is hmm. nice right so that is the right answer so 50 US dollars in equivalent British pounds is 40.5 so let's go and check it out once to see if that is the right answer 50 US dollars is 40 point three five British pounds and then here we have forty point five uh, the reason for uh, that kind of a small discrepancy is here it is just showing us a rough idea let me just try and use it with a calculator just so you get to know point eight one into fifty is forty point five and why did Google show forty point three five it's because Google is taking the precise accurate value it's not just 40 uh, it's not just 0.81 it is taking 0.8133 something which is uh, beyond our uh, knowledge so from that value it is calculating and Google is returning that result so I think I hope you did this with uh, not much trouble and if you even did get trouble you, I think uh, you've gotten it cleared at this point so Thank you. Let's see in the next upcoming video how we can uh, talk about, uh, you know, characters and things of that sort.